The Gulf Stream Current is an immense warm water system that helps in carrying rich and tropical biodiversity to the southeast coast of Florida. Additionally, the current also helps to regulate the climate of southeast Florida, making this area of the state slightly more tropical feeling than other areas of the state, as you can see from this climate map of Florida. The Gulf Stream passes just south of the Florida Keys, through the Straits of Florida, and then turns where it flows northward between Florida's east coast and the islands of the Bahamas. However, just a few miles east of the area around Juno Beach, the Gulf Stream heads eastward, away from the state of Florida, and back out into the Atlantic Ocean. We've mentioned the Gulf Stream on this channel previously, but I'm looking forward to highlighting another unique aspect, the approximate location where the current heads away from the east coast of Florida. The areas to the north of this location, where the current is absent, are climatically more mild than the areas to the south, which are more tropical, where the current's impact is present. On today's beach walk, we are visiting Hobie Sound National Seashore, a beautiful nine-mile remote expanse of shoreline about 15 miles north of Juneau Beach. This area is of interest to me because it is north of where the Gulf Stream heads away from the coast of Florida. Now, because the Gulf Stream helps to bring Caribbean shell species to southeast Florida, I've always been curious to know exactly how much, if at all, the Gulf Stream impacts shell variation here, such that Caribbean shells may still be found north of the Juno-Jupiter area. I know that's all an earful, but come along on today's adventure and we can find out firsthand. All right, we are at Hobie Sound National Wildlife Refuge. I have wanted to come here for a very long time a place that's been on my bucket list. Uh, one of the last locations of unspoilt um, wild coastline left in Florida. There's a few. Uh, I'm not sure of too many others on the uh, east coast of Florida, but Hobie Sound National Wildlife Refuge is one of them. So I'm excited to see what we can find here. This is a National Wildlife Refuge so I won't be removing anything from the beach, uh, but that's not gonna prevent us from finding things and I'll show them to the camera and we can see what we can find together. So um, let's make this a good trip. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. Look at this perfect little bittersweet. So beautiful. Bob's here. Beautiful shells. We can take a look at them. Bark here. Get that bad boy. I was just sitting right here. I'm gonna leave that. It's an Right there. Nice arcs. So Hobie Sound uh, is on 
Jupiter Island and uh, this uh, particular location on Florida's East Coast is really the crossover between where the uh, Caribbean uh, shelling province and the Carolinian province kind of overlap on the East Coast. So I know I've featured a couple of videos before of Florida's East Coast. You can find some Caribbean shells, uh, but you can also find shells from the Carolinian uh, shelling province as well too. Molluscan province is what it's officially called. So that's why this place is, is really awesome is because it's, it's an overlap zone. And um, that makes it just really cool and interesting. You don't know what you're going to find. You get the best of both worlds there. Plus, honestly, this is beautiful. There's not one person on this beach. It's really nice. It looks like a calico scallop, but I don't think it is. Gorgeous turkey wing. That is so colorful. Look at that. So here, a couple things. Got one of these beautiful scallops here. Bright orange red and a piece of a cowrie. So that's kind of cool. Another orange imperial venus. Look at that. That is pretty cool, man. Wow. been sitting in some sediment, sediment with lack of oxygen, and oxidized. Very beautiful, look at that. So this is really interesting. <laughs> this is the top of a queen conch. Okay, how much do you want to bet if this is whole or not? Oh, it is whole. This is the first gastropod I found all day. This is a lightning. That's good. Okay, not bad. quite some time here, maybe a mile or two, and I wasn't finding much, but there is a lot of drift coming up here, so I'm, I'm hopeful. Let's, uh, let's hope. You can see here. Let's see what we can find. Get 
down real close. You see that there? I think I'm getting it right here. That's a sundial. That's kind of cool. Let's just sit in there. Okay. A hawk wing conch. Pretty far up north too. But I found one. That's that makes me happy. Alright. Heck yeah. So I found another piece of a hawk wing conch here. It's kind of cool. pretty inconspicuous, but it's actually an Atlantic Morum. That is a Caribbean shell, and that's kind of cool. That's awesome. That's just sitting right there. Found a whole crown here. Ah, uh, it is whole. That's awesome. Look at that. That's a nice little crown cup. It's a crown conch, yeah it is. That's nice. Nice little find. This is the moment. Look at this! That is, is it whole? It's whole! Oh, my, my favorite find today. Hold on one second, I'm getting a low battery. Wow. That is a Caribbean vase. What an awesome find, and it is perfectly whole. A little pitted, a little weathered, but nonetheless, nice little Caribbean base. Beautiful here at Hobie Sound. y'all uh, I'm wrapping up my day it's been a long walk but I want to show you some of the cool finds from uh, Hobie Sound today here this beautiful um, wildlife refuge is really really gorgeous so we can start down here some kind of moon snail that I don't know what it is but I'll find out got a semele there a shark eye a scented scallop a gorgeous bittersweet uh, I believe that's either a Ravenel scallop or the top of a uh, flat scallop, the other side. Got a nice little sundial, some rose petal talons, I believe those are, uh, some beautiful cockle that's red and yellow, an Atlantic morum, which is super rare, that's a Caribbean shell, a Caribbean vase, probably my favorite find of the day. Uh, we got an Imperial Venus. Part of a hawkwing conch. It's not the whole thing, but I think it's really cool that you can find hawkwing conchs way up this far, uh, far north here in Florida. Uh, we got a lightning whelk and a gorgeous orange uh, piece of a true tulip, or a, a piece of a, a true tulip that is orange, and sorry, a, uh, a crown conch. All in all, not bad. It's been a very long walk, burned a lot of calories. Um, I hope you have a good time. Had a good time with me today. 
And uh, of course, as always, I will be seeing you on that next adventure. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. A lot of you are watching and you're not subscribed.